getting that YouTube content. What is up, YouTube people? Kudum Malo here coming at you with another exciting video, basically showing everybody the Warbonnet Superfly, right, tarp, and also the Warbonnet Blackbird XLC. That's the heavyweight double. If you are a heavier individual, you're larger than in charge, and you're looking for a hammock that will support your weight, the Warbonnet Blackbird XLC will hold up to 400 pounds if you get the heavyweight double version. And we're gonna get into that in a second. Let me just show you the tarp real quick while I still can before the wind gets too out of control. But basically what I had to do is I had to tie it up a little bit to keep it out of uh, flapping in the wind like a big sail. What I should have done was brought my snake skins. I totally forgot in my home. But basically a snake skin is like a sock. One goes here and then one basically goes over here and that keeps it all coiled up. So if it gets windy, it's just rolling in the wind as opposed to like flapping in the wind. But I just have it temporarily tied up right now just so I could show you the Warbonnet XLC. Totally worth its weight in gold. So let's get into it. So like I said, if you're a heavier individual, maybe you're more on the plus side, you might be looking at a hammock or hammock camping. This is just a walk around to kind of just show everybody what it looks like from all sides, from all angles. There you go. Right now I have it open so you can see right there. You can actually see what's in it. You kind of get the idea and then what i did was i have the one tigress under quilt right which which tucks up underneath there's a little bit of an air gap in there so as my body heat warms up the air underneath the air stays trapped in there stays warm keeps me warm all night so that's the reason for the under quilt i'll show you that set up in another video but basically i'm in love with this hammock i can't say enough good things about it just knowing that it'll hold up to 400 pounds like i said the heavyweight double version is worth its weight in gold especially if you're a larger individual more robust whether you're a guy or girl whatever the situation is and you're looking for something that can support your weight trust me like it's better to pay a little bit of money get a little bit of better quality and at least you know you're sleeping large and in charge. What I did do was in a previous video where I showed everybody how to pull cl pull close the zipper and open the zipper, I had the mosquito netting on which comes with it. What I did was I spent the extra money and I got the I got the winter top cover, I think is what it's called, and that's basically to keep more of the heat inside and the heated air inside to basically keep you a little bit, just a little bit warmer. Plus, if you didn't have a tarp for whatever reason, at least you know you got a little bit of something between you and the outside elements. If it gets colder, right, windier, you kind of get the idea. So let's do an in-depth look inside, and then I'll show you how I rigged it up so you can kind of see that. But basically, there's your, what is that, 270 degree view of the war bonnet. By the way, this, this side over here is my head side. My head's over here, my feet are over there. I'll show you the foot box in a second. But what's going on here is, so I'm gonna lay it a diagonal right to the hammock. Let's see if I can get the wind to cooperate and I can actually, I don't think the wind's gonna cooperate, but basically there's my ridge line, right? And what's going on is my head's over here, my feet are over there, so I'm getting that diagonal flat lay so I can sleep more comfortably, right? Have a better night's rest and that kind of thing. And I'll show you some tricks inside the hammock that I do to make it even more comfortable. But what's kind of nice is on this side, I've got a shelf that pulls out, right? So the top, with the top cover, you get a little bit of mosquito netting right there, as you can see inside. And this is for the view, right? That's so I can see out there and see this beautiful view up in the San Gabriel Mountains. Look at how cool it is. I wake up every morning and I see that. So awesome. Okay, let me come back around this side. Do, 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 do. Oh, if you're wondering, I definitely got like a floor tarp Tyvek action thing going on here. Just so when I get out of the hammock, white side up, that way I can see what's down there. So I don't step on like a scorpion or a snake or something or some creepy crawly. But that's when I get out, I can just step on that in my socks, not cause too much damage, right? Okay, so going into the hammock, let's go ahead and do that. What I've got going on is I've got my little neck pillow right? <laughs> My little U-neck pillow to make sleeping a little more comfortable. Obviously, you could use whatever kind of pillow you want. This is like an airplane, airport type setup. Then I've got, this is my down jacket. I'll have to do another video on this. This is the one that I found that was less than a hundred bucks. I think it's around $70. Comes in up to size 4XL. So small, medium, large, XL, double XL, triple XL, 4XL for 70 bucks. This thing kept me so warm in these temperatures are in right now it was about 40 degrees last night between like 8 p.m and let's say midnight and then between midnight and about 4 a.m it got down to like 36 something and then this morning like just before the crack of dawn oh my god it was probably just at freezing 32 33 degrees so i definitely felt warm with this on sleeping in my jacket and having all this other stuff in here okay so then what i did was in terms of pants right 
you could do long johns, right? Or you could do, uh, these are polyester sweatpants. Basically anything that's gonna trap the heat and keep you warm, right? And then on top of me, I've got this nice little top quilt going on, right? This is an old Swiss Army sleeping bag, basically, that's rated for, I think this is rated for a 20 degree bag. So you always add 20. So if it's this 20 degree bag, it's rated to 40 degrees, right? But whatever top quilt you decide to get or sleeping bags type setup, you know, lightweight is the key, obviously, but basically it's just something that's going to keep you warm. And then remember that mod I did on the mosquito net with the pulling of the zipper thing? Guess what? I also did it in here too. So as I grab my paracord, I can pull my paracord and close the zipper shut. Does that make sense? And then to extend it back out, remember how I was showing everybody that trick where you put your foot in here? Basically extend your foot out. Now you can extend it out. Oh, over here, by the way, see this mosquito netting? Let me show you on this side. What's going on here is there's a little bit of mosquito netting on top, just in this little triangle corner right here, because you do want to get some fresh air into your hammock. And that's the reason why they put it, and they put it over here on the foot box side so that you can get some fresh air when you're sleeping, because you don't want to suffocate, obviously. Okay, and then just to show everybody the combination of the war bonnet and the one tigress, if you're curious, basically what I wanted to do is create a little pocket here, right? Like a, like a tiny little pocket to basically keep some air in the underside of the hammock to keep me warm from underneath because the wind will blow <laughs> like when the wind blows right so the wind's coming in this way off the river and you definitely want something underneath you because you will freeze your buns off even in the summertime like you get just a little bit of a breeze going it'll it'll chill real quick like your underside your butt your back your the back of your shoulders that kind of thing so you definitely want to use some kind of an underquilt war bonnet makes an awesome one if you want to go to the website and check that out i'll put a link down in the description there down below but you get the idea okay let's go to the hanging setup how i how i hung this thing up um it's kind of cool let's show you on this side so what's happening is let's go over here real quick okay so what's happening is Basically, coming from the hammock, right? Coming, this is where the hammock, this is the head side of the hammock, remember? Coming from the hammock, you have this silver carabiner that holds the top cover uh, closed basically on this side so that you don't, you don't get an accidental unzip. And there's a little piece of elastic here that allows you to kind of see underneath all that. There we go, if the sun cooperates with me, there we go, perfect. So see how, the, see how this piece of rubber uh, stretch webbing is kind of covering that so you kind of keep your zippers down so it doesn't unzip from the wrong side basically what I did was on the one tiger so I modified it a little bit right to kind of uh, basically allow me to wrap the, the underquilt underneath it and that clipped into this carabiner the silver one so the the one tigers comes with this little carabiner use some modified bungee cord I got that in that goes to here then you've got this Dyneema rope which basically goes to Warbonnet's buckle system. And then you have Warbonnet's original tree strap, right? So like I said in, a, in another video prior to this one, I'm trying to preserve this strap as much as possible. And what I did was I went around the tree with a piece of webular, web tubing, sorry, hollow tubing or web tubing, so that this piece of webbing can absorb the, the rugged edges, gnarly edges of the pine tree, right? And then I did my two carabiner system as I showed you in a previous video to this one, that's another reason why you want to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell. Also go to the playlist. Like I have a bunch of different playlists, like Hammock Everything, I think is what it's called right now. But if you go into my playlist, you'll see all these videos and how I set these up. But this is it in the field being used in practice. And basically you get the idea. So this was this coiling system around the one carabiner is basically to pull up some of the slack. And then this is, the second car carabiner is basically to lock in place. Then I have a locking carabiner here. And then as you can see with my extra cordage, I just put that right here, right, to keep that all tied up. So if I need to adjust it in the middle of the night, if I need to pull it tighter, all I have to do basically is just pull on this one cord. There we go. And I pulled out, what was it, like two or three inches of extra to lift up the head side, or you could do that, you could lower it too that way. So there you go. It's kind of easier to see that way. And then the shelves, let's talk about the shelves. So this is your one shelf, right? Uh, shot cord right that you attach to basically your top cover war bonnet sells this so you can make things a one-stop shop uh bowling knot right here going around a tree you could also do it around a stake right whatever you want to do to basically just pull this out so that you can extend your mosquito netting and have a little bit of a view and then if we look on the let's go to the inside first let's see the inside shelf so the inside shelf you can basically put 
like your keys, your wallet, your whatever in here, right? Keep everything in there. And you've got a little shelf to put your stuff. And then on the foot box side, if you come down this way, this is the foot side. So you've got this extra material here that I showed you in another previous video. Basically, so you can get that nice diagonal lay, that flat lay across the hammock. So then if I come over to this side, doo -doo 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 -doo, <laughs> right? What I've got is, I've got another, this is the this is the outside of the shelf that was inside, and basically more of the shock cord, right, guy line, whatever it's called. Basically this is going to some paracord, right? I did another bowline knot on this side. That goes to a trucker hitch and around another tree. But if I had to stake it down, see I've got a stake somewhere in the ground over here. There we go. I've got a stake in the ground that I could stake it down to in case the wind gets too bad or whatever the situation is. I could also use that stake for the Superfly rain tarp. So it has multi-purposes, dual purposes, that kind of vibe. You get the idea. Anyways, that's basically the setup right there. And the goal is to try to pull this away from your face so that your face is a little, has a little bit of separation between you and the hammock. So anyways, there you go. Let me walk around here to the side, showing you that awesome view again that I wake up to every morning. <laughs> and here we go. Here's a nice side shot of the entire hammock right there. So war bonnet, blackbird, XLC heavyweight double will hold up to 400 pounds Most comfortable sleep I've had in a hammock so far definitely an awesome thing you get that nice flat lay that diagonal lay Oh, and if you wanted to flip this to lay head your head would be on the right side Your feet would be which feet would be on the left side What you do is you you undo the top cover or the mosquito net right mosquito net comes with the hammock the Top cover is a little bit extra worth it though. But what you do is you'd flip the hammock upside down and then reattach, re-zipper the top coat, the top covering, whatever, or the uh, or the mosquito net. So now your head would be on that side, your feet would be on this side, right? Let me show you that at an angle. Let's see. So like I said, so if you turn this, and let me zip this real quick, so I'm not fighting the wind so much. Okay, there we go. So, so right now the way it sits. My head is over here, my feet are over here. If you turn the hammock upside down, your head would be over there and then your feet would be on this side. And then just basically reattach the top cover or the mosquito netting, whichever one you decide to choose, or whatever the situation is. Here's a good shot of that mosquito netting in the foot side. Basically you get the ventilation the airing, so you get the idea. Anyways, now would be an awesome and amazing <laughs> time for everybody to hit that subscribe button down there below. Also make sure to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of when future videos come out. Also down in the description, I will be posting links to a lot of these products and so make sure you check out that description section. And also in the description, there's a link to Cooter Malloy product reviews on Facebook. Make sure to like, subscribe and follow me on Facebook as well. Anyways, I'm Cooter Malloy and I will catch you all on the next exciting video.